my boy Uriel. He's been in the past videos. I answer a little clip. And all right, so yeah, right now I'm gonna go and scoop his ass up, and we're gonna go get some new wheels for the for the hole. Damn, cook. We picked up that full Uriel. What are we like a fucking hour in or no? Almost 30 minutes. No, 30 minutes left, right? Till we get there. Well, that was fucking far. Huh? What you think, yeah, bro? Yeah. I don't know where the fuck we at. <laughs> to be well, honest. We somewhere, though. Yeah, we somewhere. <laughs> and where the fuck we at? I'll pick it back up and get it. Where the fuck we at, way? We're in Bath. Where the fuck is Bath? Ah, oh, shit. My camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Bath. We got the goods. Where they at, Yuri? Got the goods, boy. Cases. I'll show it to y'all when we, uh, where we gonna go eat. I don't know, but we gonna go eat somewhere. And I'll show y'all. Sheesh, on taremos, who knows? I don't know what the hell I was doing the last clip or like whatever the where I left off, but today I'm gonna install airbags. Where the fuck are they at? Right there, airlift airbags right there. You're gonna go in the spring for people because last time I had a full truck and it was me, passenger, and three people in the rear. That shit was bottoming out. Not too bad, but it was there. It was there. Definitely there. On the, I was like riding in the dips. So it was like, mm, it got a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna install those. This is one without a compressor, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's just whenever uh, people are in it. So I'm gonna run the lines back. I'm thinking of putting them over there where the license plate is. I'm not sure yet, but that's most likely the part where it's gonna be the license plate. So yeah. Took the wheels off right as you can see. I literally just remembered about recording this, so I just took the wheels off, jacked it up, put those under so the axle can fall down after take off the jack, took off the bottom bolt of the shock. Next, do it for both sides. Next is the sway bar links in the bottom. That's about it. And now the axle can drop. Yeah, this is it. You can see, dropped it low enough to where the springs can come out. All right, so this is the kit right here. Airlift 1000. I don't know where the hell the 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 numbers, but I'll find everything and I'll probably link it. Everything in my drop video. Sorry for making different videos. I didn't think I would need this, but I actually did. So this. There's a little nip on it, just so nothing will get in it. So it's just gonna go in the spring like this. It looks a little bit smaller than what it is, but after it's compressed down, it'll kind of go to the size of what it is. So kind of want to just squeeze it in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll figure it out ahorita. So you'll see me fucking batallar trying to get these in here. So it is what it is. This shit was a bitch. It took me a whole seven minutes and eight minutes. But to make your life easier, you can soak these in some hot water. But you will have to be careful not to get water in the inside the actual little airbag. If you do, no bueno. And you have to fucking wait for it to dry out completely before you can put it back in. But yeah, that's exactly what you gotta do. So when fit them in, you can struggle like me or try hot water, but I don't want to risk putting water in there. I want to get this shit over with, and that's it. And they give you this line that you're going to feed it to like this. And you're going to have to make it come out the top of the spring. And there's a little way you can feed it to the top without 
making a bigger hole out of your little spring pocket bullshit because it goes through fine there's enough space where it can wiggle around so you don't have to make a bigger hole here either all right so all right so where is it at that shit right there that's the top of the pocket you're just gonna feed the line through where's that shit right there you're just gonna feed that shit through on top it's big let's see if i can catch this shit right here my fingers right here so you have enough clearance up here so i'm just gonna put it through here and run it that way where my thumb is pointing this is gonna go on top of the chassis or somewhere and I'm gonna feed it over there, both over there. And then, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Little baggy comes with the T. Where's the T? Right there. Plastic T right there. I'm gonna join both of them and it's gonna go into one. So I'm gonna do that and put it over there to the license plate. God damn. All right, so with this kit, they give you these little things right here. It was like, you squeeze it and it'll open. And I'm gonna stick this line with this in it so it can clamp down on the little air bullshit right there. That thing right there. Right, so I got the clip in. I don't know what the fuck's called. I'm still trying to think of it. Alright, so I'm gonna stick it in right there. Eh. Eh. Shit's hard as fuck to do on here. pop the bottom the bag up and it's all the way down touch it to the red i'm just gonna squeeze this it's gonna open up something it's gonna I'm push it all the way down that's gonna secure it from like popping out or anything just a little more safer all right so we got the bag in we have the line through and that shit's in there this shit ain't coming out for no reason boy all right so i'm gonna start back like this in the spring exactly how it is first i'm gonna feed the the line they gave you Shit, excuse me. Through the hole right there. On the top, like I said, I'm gonna feed it this way. But I'm not gonna cut yet till I know exactly kind of where it's gonna go. Here's all they give you. I mean, it's pretty long, but still, just wanna be safe with it. Not cut before anything. You know? Alright, so I'm just gonna put the little nipple that the airbag had on top of that shit so no dirt can get in it. I don't know, I just did it, just in case. So, like I said, feed it up through the hole. It's gonna go like that, and it's gonna run this way. So, you can go towards that. I'm gonna do the same thing for the both sides. So, it's the exact same process for the back, for the driver's side. I'm doing the passenger side right now. Do that, and then once it has enough line, I'm gonna feed it that way. So the, that side over there, anywhere over there, I'm gonna either drill a hole or do something for the back. I don't know. I'm gonna think of some shit. But I'm gonna tee it off, and then I'm gonna do another line. So, before I get to that, I'll record again. But first, I gotta do that shit to the driver's side. Alright, so before you even fucking put, try to put that shit back in, put your bump stop or your fucking little rubber spring shit back on, pocket thing, whatever the fuck's called. Put the shit on, feed it through the tube, then put it on. Don't, don't be like me, put it in, then take it off again, because you forgot to do that. So yeah, put this on first. Alright, so for this side, I did the same thing through the hole, obviously, the pocket thing, whatever. And there's a little loom right here of wires. I'm just gonna follow that line right there and I'm gonna zip tie it. I'm gonna leave some slack though. It runs almost all the way through, so I'm gonna do the same thing. It runs all the way over there. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Zip tie it two, three times. Then I already got the other side somewhere over there, right there. And I'm gonna tee it off over there. Alright, so got that line done both of them and i kind of just measured it like owl hole with eye like just where the middle was the license plate i drew the little hole zip tied that shit and i got both of these on there so they're not coming off 
I just need this one to go like either straight or somewhere in the edge of the foot. All right, so I got both of the lines done over there and over here, right there. I did it through the front right here at first, but the exhaust was too close to it, so I ran it through the back. Here. So it goes on top. So it's on top on top. And then they both come to a T. I drew a little hole right there, zip tied it, and like you can see, the little ring, little rings right here, zip tie ring. This shit's not coming off. The little T. Put another one on this extra line. I got plenty. It was actually plenty. I thought it wasn't gonna last, but it did. So I'm gonna put it right there, and I'm gonna choose whether to put it in the middle of the license plate or in the side of the license plate. Alright, so like I said, teed it off. I done put the little other ring on there. It's not going nowhere. That's fine with me. Alright, so here's what I did. Where it says Carolina, there's the normal hole for the four points. Where the O is, I did a hole. That's where I'm going to be feeding this part through. I'm trying to make it as big as this part right here. So you can feel like a little washer in the rear. And then the actual nut that tightens it down i'll show you once i'm done and then i made another little hole through this oh shit. i made another little hole through that which is the back of the of the bumper where the fucking the plate goes and as you can see the line's right there kind of in the middle so i'm gonna run it right here that's where it's gonna be all right so with this little kit it gives you two of these two caps two washers two nuts two locking washers and two rubber ones and this isn't they give you two for each just in case you want to do one for this bag and one for this bag but i'm gonna do i did a t so it's just one for both i'm gonna feed it through the rear like this and put the rubber one on just so it won't like kind of mold the shape of this because it's not straight it's weird as you can see so it's gonna go like this, and I'm put the just the bolt because I'm not gonna tighten it super hard. As long as it's snug on there, and it won't it won't retreat back, which it won't. So we'll be straight. Just connect that right here, like so, right there, más menos. When I'm done, I'll show you. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Put that. Put the nut right there. And there's another nut in front. This is what it's gonna look like now it's not gonna move anymore and it's pointing up just a bit so it won't be hitting this right here i'll show you, you can push it down but in case uh it doesn't want to fit just push that down i guess i didn't know that but pointing up just a little bit so you can fit the the com air compressor tool whatever the fuck you're gonna use on there to fill up the bags and you'll be straight i'm done now finally put the stem on locked it in it's not going nowhere the T's in there, the lines all the way back, bag, bag. It wasn't that hard, but since I didn't know what I was really doing like that, it was a little time consuming. But another day, we got to work. Uh, like I said yesterday, I already put everything back on, everything's good. Now I just gotta put all the bolts back, just shock one and sway bar one. I put already that tight, is already good. Still need to tighten this one though, in the bottom. These are 70 foot pounds, both sides. These are 48 foot pounds. Well, the stock ones are 48 foot pounds. So that's what I'm gonna do, 48.